On a day when South Korea was holding talks with China's chief envoy, North Korea carried out its second ballistic missile test of the year and second weapon test since the weekend. Unlike the new cruise missile it announced at the start of the week, today's launches are subject to sanctions because they involved ballistic technology, according to the South's Joint Chiefs of Staff. And this was after military officials were accused of failing to detect the cruise missile launches from the North last Saturday and Sunday, though Defence Minister Saouk has denied that claim, insisting yesterday to lawmakers that they did spot them through South Korea-US combined assets. South Korea's JCS said today that the military here maintains a full readiness posture in close cooperation with the US. What we've been told so far about today's launches is that the North fired two ballistic missiles of an unidentified type from a central inland area into the East Sea. News of the test came in the afternoon, shortly after President Moon Jae-in had asked Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi for Beijing's support for peace on the peninsula. And while Wang was positive about China's relationship with South Korea and did call for dialogue, he did also caution that not only the North but also other countries are engaging in military activities. It's interesting that North Korea would choose the moment of Wang's visit to conduct the test, considering its alliance with China, but Pyongyang had earlier threatened a major security crisis and has also recently restarted its main nuclear reactor, capable of producing weapons-grade plutonium.